All right, you read the title of the video. You already know what we're doing today. Today, we're going to be going through this iceberg called Movies with Strange World Records. There's tons of wacky shit on here. I thought it'd be fun to go through. Yeah, I mean, you know how it goes. Let's just hop right into it. All right, so first off, we're starting off with tier one. And our first record is Most Latex Feet Made for a Film. And this record goes to Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. They made more than 1,600 pairs of latex feet that were used during the shooting of the film. And each foot actually had to be glued on and then ripped off at the end of each day's of filming. So each pair could only be used once. And man, is that dedication. Like, Dan Schneider would have loved working on this set. All right, our next record is shortest movie to be nominated for an Oscar. And this one goes to a movie called Fresh Guacamole and it's a minute and 40 seconds. And the film uses a technique of pixelation and shows a man's hands making guacamole out of familiar objects, which become different items when they're cut. For example, a baseball is cut in half and becomes a pile of dice while it's being diced. There's a grenade, a billiard ball, and each object resembles an ingredient actually used in an authentic guacamole recipe. There's a miniature golf ball that represents a lime, a green Christmas light bulb that's supposed to be a jalapeno pepper. It's, it's really clever. But yeah, it's notable for its unique and creative animation style, which led to it being the shortest film ever to be nominated for an Oscar. All right, our next record is largest inflatable beach ball. And this one surprisingly goes to Baywatch 2017. As part of a, like a marketing ploy, Paramount Pictures created a supersized beach ball that marked the London premiere of the new Baywatch movie. And yeah, they actually got the record for creating the largest inflatable beach ball. Not bad, bro. Not bad. All right, our next world record is most dialogue. And this actually goes to Casino. If you haven't seen it, it's a Martin Scorsese crime film with Robert De Niro in it and Joe Pesci. Really good. And in total, the movie has 67,768 words spoken by actors, making it a movie with the most dialogue in the world. Contrary to that, I found the movie called Sons of Saul that has the least amount of dialogue spoken by actors, which was at 1,387 words. Fun fact. Alright, our next world record is most expensive prop for a film. And this actually goes to a movie called Pirates, made in 1986 by Roman Polanski. And the prop was actually a full-scale replica of a Spanish galleon that cost $10.2 million. Ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. Like, imagine what I could have done with that money, bro. Fuck. Uh, Alright, our next world record is largest movie by Gigabytes, and this goes to Avatar by James Cameron, and is often cited as one of the largest movies made in terms of digital data due to its extensive use of CGI and special effects. And this combination of high quality visual effects, 3D technology, and extensive post-production work has led to it being one of the largest movies made in terms of gigabytes in digital data. Pretty groundbreaking film anyways. The, the movie is like 2 hours and 40 minutes long, so it, yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it. Alright, our next world record is most retakes for one scene with dialogue. And this goes to Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. And the most retakes for one scene with dialogue is actually 148. And this scene took place between Dick Halloran and Danny Torrance. And they were discussing, like, the, the shine. In which they're introducing the audience to the supernatural aspect of the story. It's, it's creepy. But 148 takes... That's fucking crazy, bro. All right, our next world record is most film extras. And this goes to 1982's Gandhi. And it's believed that over 300,000 extras appeared in the funeral scene of Gandhi. Announcements by loudspeaker van in the newspaper and television and radio summoned all these extras and like 90,000 contracted performers. And the sequence was actually shot on a single morning on January 31st, 1981, which was the 33rd anniversary of of Gandhi's funeral. 11 camera crews shot more than 20,000 feet of film and yeah the edited funeral sequence only ran for like 120 seconds of screen time. 
All right, our next world record is slowest film production. And this actually goes to Boyhood, which starred at the time a seven-year-old Eller Coltrane in May 2002. And it was actually shot intermittently over the following 12 years of the film, following various moments in the life of Coltrane's character as the in-person actor grew up in real time. And they completed filming in October of 2013 and eventually premiered in January 2014, marking a total of 11 years and eight months from script to screen. Alright, our next world record is largest camera crane used on film, and this goes to James Cameron Titanic, and to be able to cover all the angles of the 700 foot set of the film, and a Kayla crane with a normal reach of 80 feet was adapted to have an expanded reach of around 200 feet, and a gyro stabilized camera was then mounted on the crane basket, and the crane was able to move on the tracks alongside the ship. Alright, our last record for tier 1 is most dogs attending a film screening, and this one goes to Paw Patrol, as the most dogs attending a film screening was 219, achieved by Paramount Pictures and Paw Patrol, the mighty movie in Los Angeles, California. The attempt was hosted by Kevin Frazier, who was the co-host of TV show Entertainment Tonight, and actually attended with his own dog. Alright, next up, we're moving on to Tier 2. Yeah... Woohoo! And our first world record is largest indoor film set. And this actually goes to Steven Spielberg's Close Encounters. And yeah, so the UFO landing site for this, for the climax of this movie, had a height of 90 feet and a length of 450 feet constructed inside a hangar in Alabama. The building had six times the capacity of the largest soundstage in Hollywood, and the set was designed to be visually stunning and awe-inspiring, reflecting the advanced technology and otherworldly nature of the alien mothership. Alright, our next world record is lowest budget movie to make $1 million at the US box office, and this goes to El Mariachi, made in 1992 with a production budget of only $7,000. This self-financed, self-produced film went on to make a total of $2 million in cinemas worldwide after it was picked up for distribution by Columbia Pictures. Columbia would eventually spend $200,000 extra dollars to transfer the print to film and then spend millions on the marketing and distribution. The success of the director's debut, Robert Rodriguez, led him to create two other sequels, Desperado, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Alright, our next world record is fastest editing in a feature film, and this goes to Derailed. And yeah, it, it's really bad, actually. It's got a total of 3,007 individual shots crammed into a runtime of 79 minutes and 59 seconds, making it the fastest edited feature film in history with an average shot length of 1.53 seconds. It's terrible. Like, you actually might have a seizure watching this. None of the footage is edited like I'm showing you what it looks like. This has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes, so take that as you will. Alright, our next record is largest age span portrayed in one film by an actor. And this goes to Dustin Hoffman in Little Big Man. And he was 33 years old when he played the leading role of Jack Crab in Little Big Man. And this character was shown in the film from the age of 17 to 121 years old. I mean, big props to the makeup and effects. Alright, our next record is most credits in one movie for the same person. And this goes to Jackie Chan in the movie Chinese Zodiac. Now, for this movie, Jackie Chan was the writer, producer, executive producer, and director of this 2012 film. And he also starred in it and according to guinness he was also the cinematographer art director unit production manager catering coordinator stuntman stunt coordinator gaffer composer props and theme tune vocalist giving him a total of 15 credits in a single film and if that wasn't enough, Chinese Zodiac was also the movie that gave Jackie Chan another Guinness World Record, which was most stunts performed by a living actor. Alright, next up we have most money lost by a film, and this goes to Disney's John Carter in 2012, which became the biggest box office flop of all time. When the Walt Disney Company released an earnings statement for the first quarter of 2012, calculating the loss to be $161 million. I actually saw this movie when I was a kid and I liked it, but it, then again, I was 12 years old, so maybe it hasn't aged as well. I'm not going to watch it again. All right, next up, we have longest speedboat jump in a film, and this goes to a stunt sequence by Jerry Camo in Live and Let Die, in which James Bond is being chased down Louisiana's bayou in a 1972 Glastron GT 150 speedboat and leaps over a road 
which set a world record distance of 120 feet. Pretty sick. All right, next up we have most amount of animals in a film. And this goes to a movie called Around the World in 80 Days. And this is a 1956 American epic adventure comedy. The film won five Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and had a total of 8,552 animals, which included 3,800 sheep, 2,448 buffalo, 950 donkeys, 800 horses, 512 monkeys, 17 bulls, 15 elephants, 6 skunks, and 4 ostriches. All right, next up we have first fully oil painted feature film, and this goes to Loving Vincent 2017, which tells the story of the last days of Vincent van Gogh, and in a complex 10 year production process, actors were filmed in live action footage, and then each frame was then overpainted by a team of 125 animators. They used oil paints to mimic van Gogh's characteristic swirling brush strokes, and each one of the film's 65,000 frames is an oil painting on canvas. It won Best Animated Feature Film Award at the 30th European Film Awards in Berlin and was nominated for Best Animated Feature at the 90th Academy Awards. All right, next up we have Longest Movie to Win an Oscar. And this goes to OJ, Made in America in 2016. It has a total runtime of 467 minutes or seven hours and 47 minutes and won the Best Documentary Feature Award for its creators, Ezra Edelman and Caroline Waterloo at the 89th Academy Awards ceremony. The feature film recounts the rise and fall of American football star OJ Simpson and the words of its producers also reveals a collection of unshakable and hot Haunting truths about America and about ourselves. All right, next up we have largest animatronic for a film, and this goes to Jurassic Park 3. And yeah, the largest animatronic was the Spinosaurus. The practical creature operated via hydraulics to move and roar, rate weighed in around 25,000 pounds and was nearly 45 feet long. And it was mounted to a motorized cart that was on tracks and ran on 1,000 horsepower. Yeah, and the movie was also a box office success. So if you like dinosaurs, go check it out. Rawr. All right, next up we have most awards won by a short film. And the most awards won by a short film is 2,199 and was achieved by On Off made in 2020. And yeah, it's just a short film that tackles the rise of technology and impact of social media on people's day-to-day -day lives. And I guess it touched a lot of people. Cause damn. All right, our last record for tier two is most translated movie. And this goes to Jesus 1979. And in Jesus, the life of Jesus Christ is depicted primarily using the Gospel of Luke as the main basis of the story. And a voiceover narration is featured sporadically throughout the film, providing background information on characters and events. This movie is occasionally described as one of the most watched motion pictures of all time, in addition to being the most translated film of all time, stating that it has been viewed over 8.1 billion times by over 4 billion people and has been translated and available for download in 1,977 languages as of May 2022. All right, moving on to tier three. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's go. First off, we have world's smallest movie. And this goes to a boy in his atom and comprising 242 individual frames with a frame size of only 45 nanometers by 25 nanometers. The smallest stop motion film was created by IBM Research Laboratories in San Jose, California, as individual molecules of carbon monoxide were placed as pixels on a copper sheet to create each frame of the film. Molecules were positioned using a scanning tunneling microscope, which uses an ultrafine metal tip to move the molecules with electrical charge. The film, called The Boy and His Atom, tells a short story of a boy named Adam playing with a ball in last 60 seconds. Once the molecules of carbon monoxide were placed in each frame, the scanning tunneling microscope would take 4 minutes and 53 seconds to scan the whole frame to build the image recorded in the film. And this process was repeated meticulously for each frame. All right, next up we have most magical warriors in an anime film. <laughs> and this goes to a, a film called Hug Pretty Cure, Futari Wa Pretty Cure, the movie created by Toei Animation. And yeah, this was based off a series that features a group of magical girls known as Pretty Cures and has a record of 55 magical warriors. Nice. 
All right, next up we have most expensive prop from a film sold at auction. And this goes to 1956 Forbidden Planet. And the prop was Robbie the Robot, which sold for $5 million in 2017. Now it was sold as a complete system with complete accessories. And the lot included the robot and alternative head, the robot's control console, and the motorized Jeep, the robot used on screen during the filming of the 1956 science fiction movie. The robot at the time of its construction Construction was one of the most expensive props ever made, costing over one million dollars to create it. And uh, yeah, Jesus. All right, next up we have longest makeup job in film, and this goes to Rob Steiger, starring in The Illustrated Man in 1968, who endured 20 hours of being in makeup each day for his role in The Illustrated Man. Now, this was an American dark science fiction drama film about a man whose tattoos on his body represent visions of frightening futures. Yeah, the main character basically just has hella tattoos. They're not tattoos, they're skin illustrations. All right, next up we have largest global film premiere, and this goes to one day on earth and basically in honor of earth day over 160 countries premiered one day on earth which was the largest global film premiere of all time and the documentary features footage shot exclusively on one day which was october 10th 2010 and includes clips from every single country on earth the united nations development program helped bring the project to life and organized a special screening at the United Nations General Assembly in New York City. All right, next up we have longest continuous shot, and this apparently goes to a, sh a film called Bug Night that was created in 1998, and I couldn't find like. I can't find a single morsel of footage from this film. Like I could find everything about the director. Like it even has him credited in IMDb for this movie, but apparently it's like 84 straight minutes of one shot, but I can't find any of the footage, not a single amount of footage. And it's a legit world record. I don't know why, but I don't know where the fuck the movie is, bro. <laughs> Sketchy. All right, next up we have largest paying audience to attend the film premiere. And this goes to Felix Manalo made in 2015. And the largest audience was was 43,624 people at the Philippine Arena in the Philippines on October of 2015. The record was achieved at the same time as the largest audience at a film and the largest attendance at a film screening. All right, next up we have longest constant film shoot and this goes to Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut in 1999 starring Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman and was actually in production for over 15 months including an unbroken shoot that lasted 46 weeks. It was mostly shot in England apart from an exterior establishing shots and the film's production at 400 days holds the Guinness World Record for longest continuous shoot. Alright next up we have Most Writers and this goes to a feature film called 50 Kisses produced by the London Screenwriters festival and has 51 co-writers officially credited. The premise of the production of this movie was that anyone could submit an original two-page script provided that it took place on Valentine's Day and contained a kiss. The best 50 scripts with the addition of one script written by their own writing team were adapted and edited together to make the feature film 50 kisses all right next up we have most directors and this goes to a movie called the owner and this multi-language independent feature film was directed by 25 directors from 13 countries and the film follows a backpack on its journey around the world interweaving a variety of cultures languages and film styles into one single narrative all right next up we have most films seen in one year and apparently this record was achieved by a woman named Maggie Correa Aviles, and from January 2010 to December 2010, she watched 1,132 films. Yeah, it, it's it's legit. The first film that she watched at the start of the year was Bell Book and Candle, and the last one was Little Fockers. And honestly, I think I could break that shit one day. Nah, I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break that record. All right, next up we have most expensive film explosion sequence, and this goes to 2001 Pearl Harbor, as it included an explosion sequence involving the destruction of six ships, each measuring 400 to 600 feet during a bombing scene in the film and cost up to 5.5 million dollars. It was filmed by 12 camera teams and the explosion took one month to rig and required 706 of dynamite, 2,000 feet of primer, and 4,000 gallons of gasoline. And of course, this record was achieved by Michael Bay. We need ideas how to stop the terrorists. An 18-wheeler spins out of control and it's all like brush in this huge tanker full of diamonds. Craw, craw. 
Those aren't ideas. Those are special effects. All right, next up we have most in theater viewings of one movie. And this goes to a man named Ramiro Alanis who spent four months watching No Way Home. 292 times in the cinemas and in doing so he broke the guinness world record for most in theater viewings of one movie and for each viewing he was not allowed to take bathroom breaks or participate in any other activity until the credits were finished rolling and ironically he broke his own record because in 2019 he had also set the same record by watching avengers endgame 191 times. Alright, next up we have most complicated CG model, and this goes to Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. As the most complicated CGI model in a film is the robot Devastator, built by Industrial Light and Magic. The robot is made out of 52,632 pieces, 11.7 million polygons, and 6,467 textures, and it took up 32 gigabytes of computer space. Alright, and last up for this tier, we have oldest actress in the leading role of a film, and this goes to Lillian Gish in Wales of August, who was 93 years old when she starred in this film, released in 1987, and this was a drama film about two elderly sisters, and uh, yeah. All right, moving on to tier five. Oh yeah, woo. And our first record is most negatively reviewed film. And this goes to Ballistic X vs. Sever. And of approximately 350 movies that have achieved 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, the most widely panned remains this 2002 movie. And of the 116 reviews published in media outlets since the film's release, not a single one has been positive. It's Dookie. It's butt cheeks. You might, you might, you, you might like it. I don't know. All right, next up we have longest time spent running in a film, and the record for longest time spent running in a film by one character is one hour, fourteen minutes, and ten seconds. Set by Giulio Basse, playing himself during the film Cartoline de Roma, and the movie presents the actor and director Giulio Basse walking his dog on one Sunday morning as he thinks and meditates about different topics. Alright, next up we have smallest film set, and this goes to the LEGO Studios movie making film set. It was kind of like a marketing ploy, as a total of 700 short films were entered using this film set in a contest by directors aged from 8 to 18 in 2000 and 2001. And uh, yeah, it was the LEGO Steven Spielberg movie maker set, the smallest film set in the world measuring 9 by 10 inches. Alright, next up we have longest documentary. And the longest film documentary ever runs for a total length of 48 hours and 10 minutes and was achieved for the movie 100 Years of Chrysostom in 2019, which follows the life of the longest ruling bishop of the Martha Mutt Church. And the film was made as a tribute to the bishop reaching his 100th birthday. Alright, next up we have longest running film series. And the longest running film series are the 103 features made in Hong Kong about the 19th century martial arts hero, Wang Fei Hung, starting in 1949 with the true story of Wang Fei Hung and ending in 1997, spanning a total of 48 years. Alright, next up we have largest amount of indoor rain made for a film. And the largest amount of rain made for a film was orchestrated for the movie Bad Times at the El Royale in 2018. The set was made up of 42 rain heads that could drop 2,000 gallons a minute on the floor, which also needed to be drained and recirculated. The set was used for the arrival of the character, played by Chris Hemsworth, in a central motel location during a heavy rainstorm. Alright, next up we have most expensive film clapperboard, and this goes to Jaws, as the wooden clapperboard included hand-carved shark's teeth serrated edges used during the production of Steven Spielberg's film in 1975, and photographed with the director on set, and was sold at an auction for $128,000 in 2016, making it the most expensive clapperboard. Alright, next up we have Longest Film Kiss, and this goes to a movie called Kids in America 2005, and it lasted for 6 minutes and 44 seconds that takes place between Stephanie Sharon and Gregory Smith. And yeah, it, it, it's a kiss that takes place at the end of the film and literally it's just 6 minutes of them kissing and credits. Alright, next up we have Most Expensive Movie Poster. And the original poster for Metropolis in 1927, a science fiction film, was sold by the Real Poster Gallery in London, UK to a US collector for $690,000 in 2005. And is one of four copies known to exist 
and the others are at New York's Museum of Modern Art, Berlin's Film Museum, and the last is in another private collection. Alright, next up we have Longest Film Title, and the official title of this movie is Fato di Sang Fra Due Uomono Uomini Per Casa Di Una Vedova Si Sospetano Moenti Politiki. And yeah, this translates to Blood Feud. Wow. Alright, next up we have most product placement in a film. And the most paid for product placements in a film is 3,463, featured in The Greatest Movie Ever Sold, which was released in 2011. And the film is a documentary that follows Morgan Spurlock as he attempts to make a movie fun and solely by product placements. Yeah, and, th and this is the same guy that also produced the documentary Super Size Me, which I remember watching in my high school health class. Alright, next up we have longest pre-credit sequence in a film, and this goes to the movie The Last Movie in 1971, and the pre-credits run for 30 fucking minutes, bro. <laughs> like, really? No. No. Alright, next up we have most weight gained for a film role. And this goes to Vincent D'Onofrio, as he gained 70 pounds for his role as Private Leonard Lawrence or Gomer Pyle in Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. Alright, next up we have most plasticine used in a film. And this goes to Wallace and Gromit's Curse of the Were-Rabbit in 2005, as Ardman Animations used over 6,000 pounds of plasticine, and the film took 5 years to make. And the previous record was held by Chicken Run, which used 5,000 pounds of plasticine. Alright, and last up for this tier we have Most Northerly Film Shoot, and this record is held by members of the Stargate Continuum crew. As in 2007, 18 members of the crew ventured onto the ice surrounding the Applied Physics Laboratory Ice Station off the north coast of Alaska, and yeah, traveled to this submarine support base on drifting ice for nine days of filming. Alright, moving on to Tier 5. Mm -hmm. And first off, we have Most Destructive Chase Sequence. And this goes to Junk Man in 1982. And this had a chase sequence which involved the wrecking of over 150 vehicles, including two Cadillacs, two Chryslers, numerous boats, trucks and motorcycles, and two Pitts high performance aeroplanes. Very nice. Alright, next up we have Greatest Destruction of Crockery in Film, and this goes to The Nightingale in 1936, which was a story about the revolt of women workers in a porcelain factory, and during production, over 150,000 plates were shattered for this film. Alright, next up we have Longest Duration Filming of a Calving Glacier. In Ice Calving, also known as Glacier Calving or Iceberg Calving, is the breaking of chunks from the edge of a glacier. And uh, yeah, it's just a mass breaking of ice. And this was achieved on November 16th, 2012, as the documentary film Chasing Ice spent several weeks camping while watching the Jacob Chauvin Glacier in Greenland until they witnessed a calving event that continued for 75 minutes and resulted in around 7 kilometers of ice crashing into the ocean and this was the longest lasting and largest glacier calving ever filmed. Alright next up we have most characters played by one actor in a single film and this goes to the movie Aranu Najan achieved by Indian actor Johnson George who portrayed 45 characters in the movie and he played roles such as Gandhi, Jesus, and Leonardo da Vinci. Alright next up we have most F words in the movie and this goes to the movie Swear Net, and the film features 868 expletives, and this was pretty much made to break that record, so yeah, they did it. They did it. Alright, next up we have Highest Stunt Free Fall on Film, and this goes to the movie High Point in 1982, and the greatest height from which a stuntman has leaped in free fall was 1,100 feet, which was performed by Dar Robinson from a ledge at the summit of the CN Tower in Toronto. Alright, next up we have Longest Uncut Film, and the longest uncut film is called One Shot Beer Without Cut, and has the running time of 3 hours 28 minutes and four seconds yeah and it was filmed in india and uh yeah yeah <laughs> very nice all right next up we have most downloaded film and this goes to the 2007 movie transformers which i mean the internet was kind of a big thing at the time i guess which kind of led to this 
but it was downloaded over like 500,000 times. Yeah, man. All right, next up we have Most Car Crashes. And um, yeah, another Transformers film. This goes to Dark of the Moon and around 532 cars were destroyed for this film. Jesus Christ, man. I could have gotten a fucking Audi, but they wanted to break it. All right, next up we have Most Edited Single Sequence of a Film. And this goes to Ben-Hur, 1925. And yeah, the chariot race scene in Ben-Hur took around 200,000 feet of film and had to be condensed into 750 feet and yeah that led this to being the most edited scene in cinema history with the ratio of 267 to 1. all right next up we have longest monologue in dramatic film and this goes to the french movie the eagle has two heads in which a 20 minute speech was made by the character natasha Alright, next up we have Longest Close-Up in film, and this goes to the Indian movie Dara and has a close-up of actress Meena Kumari, and this close-up lasts for six and a half minutes. Alright, next up we have Fastest Movie. I wouldn't even be able to show it, but in 2011, researchers using the Flash X-ray laser in Hamburg, Germany, revealed their technique for molecular movie making using its ultra-fast X-ray pulses. And the result is a two-frame movie of a micro-model of the Brandenburg Gate with a time interval of just 0.00000000000005 seconds. Alright, next up we have Longest Gap between trailer and movie release, and this goes to to where the wild things are and it was originally going to be screened alongside the movie how the grinch stole christmas in 2000 and at that point the film was scheduled for release by universal in 2001 but plans were made to shoot the film using live action and practical however due to budget issues universal dropped the project and then it was subsequently picked up by warner bros which saw its release in 2009 and it was a full nine years and two days after the initial trailer had been screened all right next up we have most expensive film stunt performed in the air and this goes to cliffhanger 1993 in which simon crane performed one of the most dangerous ever aerial stunts when he moved between two jets at an altitude of 15,000 feet the stunt was only performed once because it was so risky and it cost a record of one million dollars all right moving on to our final tier tier six. Oh yeah Let's go. And first off, we have Most Banned Film. And this goes to Cannibal Ferro Frox. And this 1980 movie was billed as one of the most violent movies ever. And publicity for the picture proudly proclaimed that it had been banned in 31 countries. This was a cannibal exploitation horror film. And uh, yeah, it's a lot like Cannibal Holocaust, to be honest. All right, next up we have Most Bullets Fired, and this goes to the 1998 movie Replacement Killers. However, it's not noted how many bullets are fired. I'll take their word for it. All right, next up we have Most Leaders of Blood, and this goes to Brain Dead 1992, or Dead Alive. And this was a New Zealand zombie comedy splatter film directed by Peter Jackson. And for reference, in one single scene, over 300 liters of big blood was used. So, uh, yeah. Alright, next up we have most property damage in a superhero movie, and this is all purely a hypothetical. This one goes to Man of Steel, and disregarding the complete destruction of an entire alien world, and most of the town of Smallville in an oil rig. The actual estimated damage to the city of Metropolis due to the climactic battle was estimated to be at around $750 billion. Hooray, the city is saved. Alright, next up we have largest film poster, and this goes to MSG, The Warrior, Lionheart, which was a 2016 Indian science fantasy adventure film. The MSG fans assembled the world's largest poster in September of 2016, which covered over 160,000 square feet. Alright, next up we have most expensive film reel, and this actually goes to the 26 second reel of 8mm signed film, which captured the President John F. Kennedy's assassination in Dallas, Texas, USA in 1963. It was valued at $16 million, and the US government was ordered to pay, which was the equivalent of around $600,000 per second, to the heirs of Abraham Zapruder for taking his footage into the National Archives. Alright, next up we have most expensive adult film and yeah this goes to caligula which is basically just a giant historical porno and it was made at a cost of 17.5 million dollars it's a legit movie it's just you know hardcore all right next up we have most on-screen deaths and 
though this one is kind of cheap it goes to guardians of the galaxy which has the record of like 90,000 because james gunn had claimed that there were over 80,000 nova core pilots like cg pilots that died in like this net scene but like uh that's kind of cheap but you know whatever bro you do you it's a good movie really good movie but eh. Right, next up we have most people in a custard pie fight in a film and this goes to the 1927 movie battle of the century in which a whole bunch of fucking people just get in the pie fight and over 3,000 pies were thrown yes i wish i could have been there bro all right next up we have highest body count in a slasher film and this goes to like this really doo-doo movie the summer of massacre in 2011 which was an anthology horror slasher film and the body count record is 155 people and bro this movie is terrible i'd actually like to see a good movie top this no i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do that shit guys do you guys want to make a slasher film together guys 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 all right next up we have most expensive film straight to television and this goes to adrian Lyons' adaptation of lolita in 1997 that was produced on a budget of 58 million dollars and failed to gain a u.s theatrical release it had difficulty finding an american distributor and was eventually picked up by the cable network showtime all right next up we have highest grossing adult film and it's difficult to get trustworthy info about adult movie sales but the consensus holds that the 1998 release flashpoint is reportedly the best-selling adult dvd of all time with more than 32,000 copies sold and it's claimed that the 1972 landmark deep throat is considered the biggest no hit ever at the box office with a gross take estimated somewhere between 45 million and an unrealistic 600 million dollars we don't know <laughs> Ooh, i wasn't there and lastly we have the deadliest filming incident ever it's a legit record and this goes to the television movie the sword of tipu sultan where in 1989 a major fire accident took place where the drama was being shot unavailability of firefighting equipment and ignorance of fire safety standards have been quoted as the major reasons and loose wiring and absence of ventilators were further causes for the fire to spread and the final death toll of this accident was 62 people but yeah that's it that's the weirdest world records for movies iceberg i hope you guys enjoyed the video yeah man go watch dune part 2 in theaters i love you bro